Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some cloudy skies, windy conditions, and some light rain across the region this morning. Going to see that rainfall continue out the day and increase in intensity, becoming heavy once we move into the late evening and the early overnight hours. These even a chance of an embedded thunderstorm across the region as well. We'll see those winds gusting the day up as high as 40 to 50 miles an hour during the late afternoon and evening hours. And we'll see the winds start to die down once we move into the overnight hours as the boundary moves north of our region. All this is thanks to, to Hurricane Ian that's going to be making landfall well south of the region in northern South Carolina and a stronger high pressure off to our north giving us these stronger winds. We'll continue to see those unsettled conditions uh, through today and then some better weather uh, once we move into Saturday afternoon, as appears now. Looking at our upper level winds from this morning are sounding, freezing level at 12,000 feet, winds at the northeast and strong in the low levels around 35 knots at 1,000, 3,000 feet. Then see our winds switch out of the easterly component and around 10 to 20 knots and almost near calm at 12,000 feet and seeing our winds increase once again out of the southwest at 31 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, we have Hurricane Ian, currently an 85 mile an hour sustained hurricane. Uh, continuing to move towards the South Carolina coastline, we have an area of high pressure north of our region. Looks like Ian should continue to move towards the northern South Carolina coast this morning into the afternoon hours. That's going to spread moisture in our region and giving us uh, some heavier rainfall possible as tropical moisture moves in the region for late this evening into the overnight hours. Taking a look at our current satellite uh, imagery, you can see lots of cloud coverage across the region this morning. Uh, you can see Ian here continue to move northward to north northeastward along the South Carolina coast. We're going to have an upper level trough that's going to pull this inland as we move into the afternoon today. Uh, but overall for our, our area, continue cloudiness across the region. Taking a look at the HER model for today into tomorrow, you can see today that rainfall continues to spread across the region, becoming moderate to heavy at times for the late afternoon hours. And then once we move in the overnight hours, you see these showers and a bed thunderstorm start to approach the region, especially after midnight. And that's going to be when we see our heavier rainfall, as well as a chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms. As we'll have some enhanced shear across the region as Ian makes landfall well south of the region. And that could give us a, a stronger thunderstorm. Mainly the tornado threat looks like to be across the tidewater and south of our region, but cannot rule out an isolated tornado with these storms moving through the region. And we move into our Saturday night into our Saturday morning. Here's uh, six local on Saturday morning. You can see most of the rainfalls off the coast, some isolated scattered showers across the region, even an isolated thunderstorm possible till about eight local. And then once we move into Saturday afternoon, you can see not much activity across the region, just a few scattered isolated rain showers. I'm going to see some breaks in the clouds as well. We'll have a warmer air mass move in. That's going to give us a warm day for Saturday. Winds will calm down during the afternoon out of the southeast, only about uh, 9 to 14 knots most likely. So uh, looking like we'll see a decent Saturday afternoon. And then once we move into Sunday, going to see this boundary that's uh, going to be north of our region on Saturday shift back south. And that's going to give us abundance of low cloudiness, some showers in the region drizzle, as well as some stronger winds. And take a look at the European model for the next a few days. You can see in making landfall, European model just a bit too far south of the landfall uh, with this run, but you can see the rainfall moving through the region. And then once we move into uh, Sunday, you can see that rainfall starting to build back in the area. The uh, remnants of Ian will be moving off our coast on Saturday, excuse me, Sunday night into Monday. And in combination with another upper level trough moving through, that's going to give an area low pressure to develop off our coast. And that's going to plague our region with some unsettled conditions for Monday and into Tuesday as it looks as of right now. And that area low pressure will also give us some breezy to windy conditions for those two days. So moving to Wednesday, going to see finally that area low pressure move off the coast, going to see some breaks in the clouds and some nicer weather for Wednesday and into Thursday of next week. I'm taking a little risk chart today, red for rain across the board. We'll see our lightning chances increase around midnight to 40%, and then they'll continue through the morning hours uh, and decreasing after 6 local on Saturday morning only to 20%. We'll see our winds above 25 knots throughout the remainder of the day today. 
seeing the strongest winds looks like for later on this afternoon into the evening hours, gusting up to 40 knots. So could see winds anywhere from about 40 to 45, even possibly up to 50 miles an hour uh, with our gusts during that time period. Looks like the strongest winds out the northeast. Moving into the overnight hours, going to see southeasterly winds take over as that boundary moves north of our region. And that's going to uh, provide us with some lighter winds below wind advisory criteria as it appears now. Well, I see some chances of heavier rainfall overnight, uh, mainly in the areas that typically see some ponding of uh, water with the heavier rainfall. We are fairly dry across the region, so not looking like a uh, good chance of seeing any abnormal uh, flooding with heavy rain, but uh, more just a typical ponding on roadways with the heavier rainfall coming down with that tropical moisture. As far as our 24-hour terminal forecast goes, we'll see some lower ceilings across the region, anywhere from about 2,000 to 1,000 feet this afternoon, and rainfall increasing intensity once we move into the late afternoon and evening hours. As I mentioned, 40% chance of a thunderstorm from 2,300 local to 6 local on Saturday, and then 20% chance of a thunderstorm from 6 to 8 local on Saturday morning. We'll see, in general, drier conditions once we move past Saturday 8 local, just a chance of a rain shower, and that would most likely just be an isolated pop-up shower throughout the morning and the afternoon hours on Saturday. does not look likely at this time. Our tides are one foot above normal, and so areas with the typical minor coastal flooding, we'll see that for uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. For our Saturday, low clouds with a chance of lingering uh, showers during the morning, then mostly to partly cloudy in the afternoon with a chance of a pop-up shower. It will be warmer and slightly breezy, see a high of 78 degrees on Saturday. Inland locations, uh, wouldn't be surprised we see the low 80s across uh, the inland locations on Saturday. For Saturday night, mostly cloud overcast with low clouds likely and a chance of Light rain or drizzle, onshore flow increasing after dawn at low of 64 on Saturday night. We'll see that boundary starting to sag south uh, towards the region once we move into uh, near dawn on uh, Sunday morning. So that's going to increase our low cloudiness and our winds as well. For Sunday, we'll see cloudy, breezy, and cooler conditions, a chance of light rain and drizzle, especially in the afternoon and evening, a high of 70 degrees. We'll see those rain shower chances that I mentioned really pick up during the afternoon evening hours, and that's going to give us an orange, about a 67% chance of rainfall on Sunday. And we'll see winds picking up once again on Sunday afternoon, most likely over wind advisory criteria. And we'll see our ceilings once again, possibly around 500 feet. So take a look at the next seven days. We'll see 67 degrees today, 78 tomorrow, 70 on Sunday, then a cool stretch uh, with temperatures only in the mid to lower 60s on Monday and Tuesday. Windy conditions as well with rain across the area. So some dreary days for the beginning of next week. And then once we move into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll see some drier conditions. Much nicer weather anywhere from partly to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, with more sunshine on Thursday than Wednesday. Temperatures rising into the mid 70s uh, by Thursday. So taking a quick look at Ian this morning and the satellite imagery, you can see the system continues to move north the north-northeastward along the South Carolina coast. Looks like the system should move towards Myrtle Beach for this afternoon as it appears now. Uh, still hasn't quite making that turn to the north-northwest as is expected this morning. So uh, could be seeing a landfall in general near Myrtle Beach, possibly up to the border of North South Carolina as the system is uh, having a difficult time making that turn to the northwest. As we move into our Hurricane Center update, National Hurricane Center update as of 8 a.m., max sustained winds at 85 miles an hour off the uh, west component of the hurricane. We'll see uh, continued movement at about north at 9 miles an hour this morning. And you can see their track goes right into uh, central coastline of South Carolina, but as appears on the satellite, it doesn't look like it's going to make that landfall. Most likely will be uh, north of that location uh, towards Myrtle Beach as it appears now. And taking a look at the latest hurricane model tracks, you can see that towards the northern coast of South Carolina. And then we'll see this system weaken quickly in the next day or two. And then, as I mentioned, possibly become another uh, just mid-latitude low off our coast for Monday and Tuesday, giving us some windy and dreary conditions. Well, I, I hope everybody has a great weekend. 
and uh, enjoying that possible warmer weather for Saturday afternoon. We'll be back on Monday at 8.15 at 10 a.m.